Eight places separate these two teams in the uh, FIFA rankings. Ireland at 24 and uh, Wales at 32. And Wales in their chain strip of uh, or grey or white, depending on the, how, the sh how the lights are. Uh, it's a kind of an off-white uh, that they're playing in tonight against the Irish, who feature Amber Barrett in the starting lineup for the first time under um, Eileen Gleeson. Yeah, I'd expect Amber to come out all guns blazing tonight. Definitely has a point to prove. We see her there. She'll be looking to get on the score sheet, no doubt. And obviously, Jesse Stapleton, we heard in the interview before the game as well, she'll be looking to try to get her first international goal tonight, too. There's the first whistle. And Wales get this game in most. Hughes. Well, the 1 2 has worked out for them. And Brosnan hesitated, and Hayes gets it away. And then the shot came in. But off the target, Rachel Rowe. Yeah, we can see it again here, just exploiting our left side there, just um, getting in behind us, you know, the cr good cross. To Woodham, for the captain, Sophie Ingle. Fishlock is onside. And Hayes has to put it behind for the game's first corner. Take it by Woodham. Oh, Brosnan has to go down and save. And it's in the net, and Wales have taken the lead. And it's Jess Fishlock scoring her 40th international goal. Just seven minutes, and Wales are in front. Yeah, not the start Ireland would want it. They seem to be slightly asleep just early towards at the back. You can see it here, the ball comes in. I think it's Evans who initially goes for it. We can see. And then it's just finished. Uh, Jess Fishlock just showing her goal scoring for our West there, just in the right place, just to approach his goal. But like you said, 40th goal for a country. She knows how to score. Yep, you're right. It was Gemma Evans with the header that forced the save from Brosnan. They, they didn't look at all in command at the back. And so. Rowe. And Hayes has to stretch again. And Wales really turn into a credit already, being closely marked. Didn't pick up Hughes, and she got the header away, but unfortunately for her, not on target. Now we can see a good ball in there from Rowe, and Hughes makes the front. We're back with McCabe. Little John round the corner for Katie McCabe, and on then for Leanne Kat Kiernan. Barrett's in the middle, but uh, that's on the roof of the net from Leanne Kiernan. Not the delivery she'd have wanted to produce, but uh, did well to get in the position. Yeah, that's better from Ireland now. Just a nice little one-two from uh, Arusha and Cape. And has it. And now it's Little John, and the Caves run onto this. And two in the middle, Barrett and Zee. And that's out of the defender for Ireland. The Connolly's corner towards Hayes. Hayes again. And it just kept off the line. Amber Barrett it was with the last shot. But now it's Connolly once more. Back with McCabe, and that will go out Look for a corner. Megan Connolly trying to make sure has to contend herself with the throw. Terrific corner from Connolly. Yeah, great ball in. Let's counter everybody up. It's Fishlock picking out Hughes, facing Payne on the effort in the end was by Sophie Ingle which uh, didn't carry much conviction, and it's a goal kick for Courtney Brosnan. But Barrett, well, she must have thought she'd be back in the, the goal standard again. Yeah, her eyes lit up that time. We can see again, just watch this recovery run from Jesse Stapleton as well. She's the, she made her way all the way back through the middle, but Ingel will be disappointed with that one. Abe has lost the possession. It's Fishlock once more. Stapleton comes to assist. Caldwell, life made difficult by Hughes. And that's towards Hughes. Nice little touch on towards Fishlock and a chance here. And Brosnan's beaten again. It's Lily Woodham. The left back has scored. Well, determination from Wales opened up Ireland again. And there was one player too many in that attack for the Irish defence. 
and the extra player was Lily Woodham, and her finish was superb. Yeah, real attack and play from Wales. It's two fullbacks combined in that time. Roberts came up on the right side. You see her here whipping the ball in. Comes all the way across to the back post to Woodham. Like I mentioned, left back just makes no mistake. Look at that for a finish. Well, half sliced maybe slightly, but into the corner nonetheless, giving Courtney not much chance in the goal there. But it's coming again just from our left side. The, their right back is open. The Caves cross. Oh, little glancing header there came in from Coldwell. Gone up to join the attack, but uh, couldn't direct it onto the goal. Stapleton had the final touch. Yeah, it was a good ball in from Katie, just whipped in, flicked on by Caldwell, but I think it just... Helped on its way then by Rowe. Fishlock, the better of Connolly. Fishlock still. Fishlock has forced another... With Payne running herself into trouble there, it's Fishlock. Fishlock and Rowe, and Hughes, and Brosnan saves. Yeah, we just see the replay again. Fishlock has the ball, just threads it through. Um, Rowe just plays it in to Hughes, and you would have put your money on her, really, to, to score that one. She's gotten 14 goals and 15 games for Crystal Palace in the Championship this season so far. The grief, Hughes, and this is Fishlock, and herring through the middle is Rachel Rowe. Fishlock against Hayes. Fishlock and Rowe flags up, it's offside. Zhu will try to pull it back for Barrett. Support is there from Payne with Zhu's wonderful turn. And a missed kick by Kiernan. Payne's throw, but that's uh, the last action of the half. A half that uh, began with a bit of a shock and a goal after seven minutes by Jess Fishlock here. Most experienced Welsh international and showing all her class in the opening half here. The likes of Emily Murphy on there for her debut. She's going to want to make an impact from the start. Away we go then. Ireland kicking. have forced the first one of this half. There is a bit more about Ireland since the play resumed. The cave in under the crossbar. That was not very far away at all. Another corner results. Evans with a header away. He has a great ball in. See it here, in swinging from Katie McCabe into a really good area. The second from Connolly into really good areas. Lots to improve on here. McCabe in again, a chance perhaps for Carusa. No, it just wouldn't come her way. Emily Murphy feeling she was impeded. And we just see. Who is renowned as a set piece deliverer. Another tempting ball in towards Hayes. Do. And on for Murphy, Payne offering a, a runner, and Payne with a cross, but uh, no trouble in the end to Clark, the goalkeeper. And Roberts, oh, picking out Hughes. And Courtney Brosnan, grateful that that went straight at her. Yeah, we can just see the ball in there to feed from Roberts. Hughes manages to create a little bit of space at the edge of the box. Gets the shot off, but again, just straight at Brosnan. Little job. I well, felt it was worth a try, but again, straight at the goalkeeper. Yeah, nice little interchange of play here, and it did open up slightly. Uh, Rusha create the tiny bit of space she needed to get the shot off, but just again, the direction wasn't there. And Payne, and it's Hayes. And Carusa trying to get in behind, and there's no offside this time. Carusa, it's out for corner. Yeah, a nice ball up the line from Caitlin Hayes into the path of Carusa. So her touch, maybe her first touch, wasn't quite what she wanted, but in fairness to Green, she did really well to get back and uh, the last ditch tackle there just to snuff out the to deliver. Over Quinn's head, past Stapleton, Murphy. Oh, it was meant as a shot. Quinn, it's still not away. Finally, the end. Payne, nice little nutmeg. Payne's cross. Murphy and Evans. And Quinn got in. Stretched a bit here. And an opportunity, perhaps. Joel. I couldn't. 
floated decently in there. Hayes got there. Top of the net again. Caitlin Hayes. Yeah, we can see it again. Great ball in from Connolly. Just whipped into that far post. Hayes does really well to get high, get her head on it, but just couldn't get it down. Eileen Gleeson's team, fresh off that scoreless draw in Italy, but time for no more here in Tala and a first defeat under the management of Eileen Gleeson for the Republic of Ireland women's team. Two goals, an early one in the first half from Jess Fishlock, then a second midway through the half from Lily Woodham, two in at half time, and it's finished, as I say, in the first defeat for Eileen Gleeson's Ireland. The final score of Republic of Ireland nil, Wales two. Thanks for that.